Welcome to To Enable Help. In this short video I'm going to explain some of the messaging functionality. So we're back with demo user, tablets at impulmamusic.org.za and you can see on the dashboard there is an unread message. So if I click on that, uh, the message is Michael Matthews, it's an incoming error, it's blue, is asking to request me as a, as a contact. Michael Matthews requested you as a contact. Please accept or decline. So the red is to decline and the tick is to accept. So I'm going to accept Michael Matthews. If I want to add another contact, I can add a contact. And there's another user called demo user, which I'm going to select. They, this demo user goes to Bonzini High and I'm going to request that they are my friend. So there's two functions here. Uh, the demo user that I've just asked to become my friend is, you can see the request has been sent. So this button is to do two things. It's to add a new contact and it's to open an existing contact. Okay, so if you had a lot of conversations going down here and you couldn't find your user, you could actually search for that user by clicking on the plus button. So we've now sent a message to demo user and this is demo user in uh, in the Chrome, and you can see demo user now has a message and it's saying this other demo user is asking them to be their friend, so I'm just going to accept that. And I can now send them a message. If I click on the user, I'm going to do that a bit slower. If I click on the user, it opens up a dialog box and I can go, Hi, welcome. There's poorly spelt welcome, but it's it's been sent to demo user. Um, what I can do now is go back to demo user and you can see a oh, hi welcome and I can say uh, bad spelling or oh, better spell that but hi okay and you can see how the conversation incoming conversations on the left outgoing conversations on the right and um, so I'm able to communicate with anybody I like uh, are you and I'm now started a messaging system with, with Mike. And you can see the latest message moves to the top. Hi Mike, how are you? Um, so any new incoming message comes with as a notification. So simple, it's like WhatsApp, you can message backwards and forwards, but it's different to WhatsApp, and this is where it starts to become different. So I'm going to go to Michael, who's my friend, and you can see there's a messaging request or message being sent to to Michael. Um, and in fact, before I do that, I, what I'm going to in fact do is show you is to show you the revision. Okay, so messaging we can send messages backwards and forwards, um, but let's say I want help with mathematics. I can look and I can see grade ten questions show question, and I can say I need help with this question. So you can see solve for x. Um, can say hi Mike need help and in fact there is no Mike on the space which is a bit irritating so let's go for hi demo user hi demo need help because this is Mike I'm pretending to be Mike at the moment select none and I'm going to select demo user so I'm sending this message and I'm going to exclude the mentor okay I can send this ask for help from my teacher or I can ask for from my friends. I'm going to send it to my friend, demo user. So if I go and have a look at demo user, there's a message that's come in, and there it says, hi demo, need help. Okay. What's interesting now is it's not just a normal message, it's actually got a link. Okay. So if I click on the link, what it's going to do is it opens up the question. So now I'm in a position to provide my help knowing what question it is that he needs help with. So if you've got problems with a question, you can in fact ask your friends, okay? And you can link the question to your message, to your user. So that's quite a handy feature. Going back to Mike, who's got a lot of functionality, you can see if I go to my dashboard, and I'm going to go to my dashboard, if I was a teacher, these are subjects that I can teach, okay? So if I go to Music Theory Pre-Grade 1, I'm just going to click on that, and it's busy loading. Now I'm acting as a teacher, okay, and in the teaching space, if I go to Casterbridge Music Development Academy, I have a lot of learners that I am mentoring, 
Adrian. What I can do is I can message the classroom. I'm not going to message the classroom because it's going to send 100 messages. But as a teacher, I can send a message to my classroom. Okay, if I wanted to, if I want to send a message to Aggie, I could select Aggie and I could say, uh, Hi Aggie, hi Aggie, how are you? Uh, where is your uh, portfolio? So as a teacher, I can send a message to any user in my class. And they don't have to be friends of mine. They just have to be students that I'm teaching. Okay, so there's a difference between a friend and there's a difference between a student that I am teaching. Um, so I can message individual users or I can message the entire classroom. The other thing I can do is if I was marking questions and... Um, so these are practical assessments. I don't think I've got a, a free form assessment. And these are, um, they have to print out a, a worksheet which they have to complete and submit. And then this is a way to mark the worksheet. Um, and it's, here's the marking guide on the right. But I can message this user with respect to this actual question that they're asking. So I can provide feedback to users on uh, practical or free form, like essay type questions. I can provide feedback. I can ask for help in my revision, and as a teacher in my dashboard, I can communicate with students in my classroom or learners in my classroom. So anybody in the classroom, I can communicate with. More than that, in my organizations, okay, as an organization administrator, I can message everybody in my group. Okay, so if I have a look and see, as I'm managing the administrators in, in, in Casterbridge, I can message all of them. I can also create an event for them, or I can message them. I can also message the people who administer Bonzani High, because I've asked to become a member of them, so I could send a message to them, perhaps, if I wanted to. Um, so you can see the messaging is integrated across the platform. Okay, So there's the demo user asking, asking Michael for help, and if I click on this one, it's exactly the same illustration I gave earlier, there's the question. Now I can provide help to demo user and I can tell them whatever help they need they need in reply. So that gives you an idea of the messaging. Okay, so the messaging is an ability to message between myself and my friends. It's an ability for, for me to ask my friends for help with revision. Okay, if I go back to revision, it's a way for me as a teacher to communicate with a learner. It's a way for me as a group administrator to communicate with my group. So it could be the grade 10 group, it could be the grade, the first team rugby team, whatever the name of the group is, I can communicate with them. Um, so the messaging is an important part of this. What happens is every week if people fail to log in, is they'll receive an SMS telling them. So this SMS to Michael would be, Michael, you have one upcoming event, you have 73 questions to mark, you have five unread messages. So users, even if they don't access the platform regularly, will be prompted by SMS to come onto the platform to address these items that need addressing. So I hope that gives a brief overview to, to, the, to the messaging um, and how it works. And hopefully it'll assist you in your learning and in your teaching.